Yeah, my name is Hoyman, consultant psychiatrist and editor of Global Psychiatry Archives. And um, this is uh, summarizing a paper from Adyazia Arafat and team from Bangladesh. And it's a perception of imams on the legal status and decriminalization of suicide attempts in Bangladesh. So this is a cross-sectional study. And uh, as you might be know, uh, knowing um, it is that suicidality or suicide attempts are forbidden in, um, in Islam. And uh, these authors wanted to find out what the stance of uh, imams is on these measures. So, um, so when you look at the age groups, so you see that you know most of the um, imams were quite young in their fifty, uh, in their twenty thirties and forties. Uh, yeah. Most of them were married. Um, different type of education, which I'm not an expert of. Um, they have a mostly quite low income but uh, the most important part is that there uh, in some of them there's a family history of suicide mm -hmm. so these imams were asked so 162 whether they ever had suicide thoughts in the last 48 hours months year or during lifetime or even made a suicide attempt and uh, for me the quite astonishing is that uh, these imams did have some suicidal thoughts and even some of them had made some suicide attempts right so um then they were asked what's the legal status in you know, so their knowledge more or less about suicide and their legal status in islam they knew that it's forbidden um they knew that uh, it's a punishable crime in bangladesh However, they haven't seen, uh, most people have never seen anybody being punished. Mm -hmm. So um, the question then is, um, where should be people referred to, to the hospital, most police station, hospital, uh, astonishing one of the first um, to help. So that uh, makes sense. And some of the um, views of these imams seems quite reasonable. So they should inform the mosque. Yeah, that's um, possibly from their background. But uh, lots of people thinking about the hospital, or at least two thirds, or nearly two thirds. And um, some people say the family, but that's uh, more ex exception than the rule. Some people don't know. And some might think that inviting to Islam might be helpful. And then is. Uh, there's something which is a bit um, unusual because they think that the criminal status, the legal status, which affects suicide prevention is harmful. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Uh, so most people, or let's say six, nearly 60%, think it's harmful. However, on the other side, mm -hmm. they don't think that suicide attempts should be decriminalized to prevent suicide in Bangladesh. So it's a bit of a contradiction in there. So what's the total take-home message is more or less is that uh, the study indicates that awareness programs are necessary and uh, even though imams are not the most, whatever, strong advocates of uh, criminalization, um, they're not very supportive of decriminalization. So possibly there needs to be more education of specific, specific groups and possibly society in general. Okay, if you like this uh, paper, you can read it on Global Psychiatry Archives on www.globalpsychiatry.co.uk and if you like these types of informations, then please register or subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you have a, something to look forward for this afternoon, then just enjoy. Okay, thanks a lot and have a good day then. Bye-bye.